This is the Draugr Drug Test 5000 Oral Fluid Tester. These devices are going out across Saskatchewan within the next few weeks. In Saskatoon, police drug recognition experts, or DREs, are training with the one machine the city was allocated. This instrument requires the police to have <coughs> reasonable suspicion that there's been recent usage. So if a person, for example, came through a check stop smelling of freshly consumed cannabis, and of course that would give us reason to believe that they recently consumed, or if they made an admission to consuming within the previous few hours. The saliva test will give a positive or negative result for the presence of THC or cocaine, but it will not be enough to determine if someone is legally impaired. So these tests only prove quant whether it's present or quantitative uh, presence of the drug. The impairment is proved through the DRE test, is proven through the DRE test. So that's where an expert evaluates a person and conducts certain physical tests and that testimony to the court will then prove impairment. In September, the provincial government introduced zero tolerance rules for drug impaired drivers. Critics of the roadside tests say they will be challenged in court. SGI says driving high has always been illegal. Driving high is still driving impaired and it doesn't matter if it's uh, marijuana, cocaine, uh, meth, uh, or prescription drugs, if it impairs your ability to drive, just don't get behind the wheel. I mean, we're not telling people not to uh, partake in legalized marijuana, just like we don't tell people not to drink. We just tell them to plan a safe ride home if they're going to be doing so. Saskatoon police say this device will be out in the field within the next few weeks. Saskatchewan RCMP received nine devices. They will begin training officers next week. Regina police will start soon after that. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.